Bill Ski Wilderness area here at Dixville Notch, New Hampshire. Actually, the host, the Balsams Grand Resort in Dixville Notch, has been fantastic for the Lumberjack competition here. Second annual event, hoping to be an annual event put on by Jerry Gingras and Katie Gingras. This is the double buck. It's one of the two team events we're gonna end this competition with later on. It's gonna be the relay. We got Team New York versus Team Quebec. Keech and Engasser taking on the Bertrand boys. That's right, and the Bertrands saw together all the time. You expect their teamwork to be flawless in this event. They've got a really good saw here. You see JP Mercy overseeing his saw. He's wedging and uh, also spraying for them. Let him fly through this wood. One on cut, and they're down in 5.21 for the Bertrand brothers taking on Keech and Engasser. Keech and Engasser are no slouches, but you said the Bertrand brothers Brothers, they live together, work together, and they saw together. That's right, and also doesn't hurt that they have J.P. Mercy watching over them and giving them good pointers here. J.P., of course, manufacturing these cross-cut saws and also teaching some of these pairs. Obviously giving the bird trends a lot of pointers, and then this next heat, he's actually also helping out Jonathan Blaise and Hugh Filion. Well, Filion and Blaise are taking on Matt Sullivan and Fred Kitka, a couple of Americans and Canadians again going at it. It's almost like an international competition. Constantly Canadians versus Americans, and I'd say the Quebecers are favored again, and yet Blaise and Filion take this heat. What the time to beat a 4.43 terrific song. JP's got to be proud of these guys as well. That's right. Actually, young guys starting out. Um, I know Jonathan Blay. We used to watch over him when he was competing at the McDonald College. And uh, here he is teamed up with Hugh Filion. Great Sawyer. And, of course, here's the guy that's teaching them everything right here, J.P. Mercier. Well, this is our double buck feature heat right now. We got Gaston Duperry, Donald Lambert taking on Mercier and Coger sawing together for the first time. That's right. Mercier's missing his partner, Dave uh, Jewett. But if you can pick anybody up, you want to pick up Jamie Coger and look at them fly. They got to beat a 4.43. It's going to be really close. 4.42. They win the double buck. Now I'm seeing and hearing a lot of banging of the handles there. That means you're using the full blade that JP made. Well, I'll tell you one thing. To be very frank, I had a hard time catching up. I, the first two strokes, I was behind him because I, I'm not used to sawing as fast as he does. And so the first two strokes, I was like, okay, okay, now I know what to do. And then we were great from about the first two strokes afterwards. Thanks, guys. Thank you. The double buck doesn't get any better than that. Look at Matt and Mike Slingerland. It seems like an eternity with a 5.12. The top four teams separated by only a half a second.